Hi guys and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to activate virtualization mode for the BIOS of your computer. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, for those of you who don't know, uh, virtualization is a way uh, that uh, enables you to install a virtual machine in your computer. Uh, the most common example, and I should say also the uh, easiest one, is uh, using VirtualBox. And that's basically enabling you to install any operative system you would like on your host operative system. So, just to give an example, what you're seeing on my screen right now is uh, the latest Ubuntu 21.04. Uh, and this is currently hoisted on my Windows operative system so that's basically a computer instead of a computer all right so let me show how to do that the process that I'm about to show you will be slightly different depending on the on the maker of your uh, motherboard or laptop uh, but this shouldn't be a big difference uh, the major difference is that uh, some of them call it uh, virtualization. In some other cases, like in, uh, in the example that I'm about to show you, you will have something called SVM, which stands for Standard Virtual Machine, and that's under the Advanced option. So let's get into it, and let, I'll, I will show you exactly what I mean. All right, guys, so the first thing we want to do is to reboot the system. So on Windows, simply go under Start, and then Restart. Now you wait for the screen to go black, as soon as the screen go black, then start uh, clicking on the F2 key. Now depending on the maker of your computer, your motherboard or laptop, uh, you will need to use uh, uh, some of the function keys. Sometimes it can be F2, like for example in the Asus, Dell, Acer, but depending also on uh, the age of your computer that can be a combination of key uh, so I would suggest you to simply google uh, the maker of your motherboard or the brand of your uh, laptop and to see which combination or function key to type in order to get access uh, to the BIOS and that's something that you can do only during boot up all right so uh, now as I told you earlier I got an Asus uh, motherboard and this is the UEFI, which is the new generation of BIOS. For those of you who don't know, uh, the UEFI it's nothing more than the old BIOS, just it has uh, this graphical representation. And the major difference is that it's accepting also mouse input now. So basically, you can see I have the pointer and I can navigate through with the mouse. All right, so now what you want to look for is uh, something like system information or advanced option and to look for something that says virtualization virtualization mode as i told you this is different also depending on the maker of your motherboard or laptop so uh, in my case i got this asus motherboard i'll need to go into advanced mode here on the bottom alternatively you can click f7 uh, then I have to go under the advanced tab, under CPU configuration, and then all the way to the bottom you will find this SVM mode. Now in my case it's already enabled, so what you want to do is, if it's disabled, obviously to enable it. And once you're done, you go to the exit tab, save, changes and reset. Now when you are leaving the BIOS or the UEFI, basically you will have a list of all the settings that you have changed. So have a look on that uh, in case you accidentally changed some settings that you haven't meant to. So you can correct that, then give it OK, and you're good to go. Now the system will uh, boot up once again and virtualization mode will be active. So in this way now we'll be able to actually run a virtual machine in our machine. Okay guys, and here I got a quick bonus for you. I'm going to show you how to perform the same thing on a Dell Precision 5530 and that's going to work pretty much in all the 
uh, Dell laptop computer. So once again, let's first uh, reboot the system. All right, when the screen goes black, we'll start holding down the F2 key. F2 pretty much will work with uh, any machine. All right, now as I told you, uh, we'll need to look for something that says virtualization. Normally it's uh, under system configuration or some advanced option, but in our case, it is straight up here. So we will go all the way down to it. Virtualization support, click enter and scroll down virtualization. And here we can use the trackpad built in the laptop. And what we want to do is to check this box in order to enable Intel virtualization technology. Then you can click on apply. It will ask you, are you sure you want to save these changes? You say yes, so say OK. And then we can exit. And that's pretty much all. Now the system will reboot and again, we'll be able to run a virtual machine in our machine. All right, guys, as you can see, that wasn't a hard task. Uh, the only thing that you really need to do is to Google the maker of your motherboard or laptop in order to understand which function key you should be typing to access the BIOS. After that, what you want to look for is something called virtualization, virtualization more mode. Uh, that's normally under some advanced tab. Uh, but sometime as in uh, my demonstration, there was an acronymous SVM mode. And yeah, after that, you just enable it and uh, you're good to go. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to click the thumb up button below and to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now.